Ian O'Brien here, and I'm having a chat today with Brendan. Brendan's started learning to play the guitar with me around one year ago, and so I wanted to have a chat with him and, and share his experience and his journey over the, over the last year. I think you'll find it really inspiring and um, motivating in terms of your, your own guitar learning as well. I think he's got a good, interesting story to tell, so definitely worthwhile. So thanks for joining me, Brendan. I, um, I appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. Cool. And let's let's start with. So I was just going to ask you what what was your motivation for for learning to play the guitar? Oh, well, I think I'm a thing for many years. Really, as, as you're growing up, you know, you hear the music and uh, you sort of get. I did like following rhythm blues stuff and uh, guitar like Clapton and Stones, etc. And um, but never really picked up guitar. I did actually start to learn the keyboard a few years back. Well, actually, a long way back, to be honest. Um, but I got so far that, but I wasn't really, um, and I didn't have the motivation to keep going with that one. So I went back to do, uh, sort of look, I wanted to play a musical instrument of some sort, so I went back to the guitar again. So I bought a cheap strap with past the Fender thing, Chinese copy, like, and started practicing with that. But just, just learning from books, you know, um, which is fine to get basics. But I didn't like, um, I, I struggled to a point because it wasn't telling you about, techniques or what what you should be doing with um how you play the song as such it's always so it's learning you this is what you do to make it sound and and it sounds like you are doing a song but there's no there's no further uh, expansion towards it about how you should be playing it i think is the word yeah mm -hmm. okay cool fair enough how long how long have you had the guitar for so yeah when i first bought that guitar it's got to be more than 10 years ago um I, 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 to be honest, I actually, actually enjoyed learning to play guitar. I thought I still wanted to continue with it, so I sort of upgraded to a, a decent guitar, a couple of decent ones, in fact. And um, so my main guitar, the semi-acoustic, uh, is one I've practiced a lot on. And um, that, I bought that one uh, so about seven or eight years ago. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And where, whereabouts were you with your guitar playing? Before we started working together, what, what was happening with your with your playing? A, a lot, a lot of the guitar playing I was doing, I think, was just um, you know, get the guitar wraps. Uh, because I would like to try and learn this song sort of thing, and and uh, some of those apps are quite useful. They did give you the basics, mm -hmm. and so I was playing the songs. Yeah. Um, but I didn't feel again. I felt got to a certain point. It goes, okay, I played the song quite good. My muscle memory is there. I can do the chords. Um, but then you think, well, something's still not, something's still missing. There's something not quite right about it. So, um, and that, again, that's why I hit the block again in that respect. Ah, uh, you felt like you were hitting a block with it. And okay, cool. And, um, how come you, uh, you decided to, to, to start working with me on your guitar player? Um, so it's also the advert. Um, I mean, there's plenty of guitar people trying to sort of teach you sort of thing. Um, but when you saw, when I read about the process and the fact that you're starting with the Django's chords, and I think that was for me that really helped a lot because I mean I was doing open chords before, um, but Django chords I thought helped with um, chords I was struggling with previously, like the B minor for example, or the F. You know, those chords are a bit um, just a bit out there for me. Whereas it, learning those on Django chords really helped with just keeping everything tight together. And I could move through those calls quite easy. Um, after obviously, obviously practicing, <laughs> but uh, it, it's it almost kind of automatic. And I was jumping the calls that I wanted to jump without looking down, or, or it's just automatic for me to, to play that chord. And I was actually hitting the chord I wanted to play. Excellent. Yeah, so, good. Really good. So we so we um, we took a step back. You were looking at open chords before. We went for some of the Django's and stuff. Got you got those clean and changing chords mm. and stuff. And yeah, into songs. And so, what's your? That was sort of the the early stages. What What's your experience been like, sort of, over the last year? So we started with the Django's, and where where have you kind of where have we gone from there? It, for fun enough, um, the Django course is a, is a good thing, um, but it wasn't just learning about the chords. In fact, the um, technique and um, Am I using the right pick? I mean, something as simple as am I using the right pick? I discovered that was the picks I was using too thick, and 
And so I was sort of attacking strings too hard and, and the sound was just like really brash. So sort of um, little things like that. And they sort of tell me how to play through the chord properly with my with, with, with hand. Uh, it's those little things. It's, um, it's a lot of technique, which I've never picked up from before. And it's helped me play the songs properly, I think is the word. So, you know, I could sort of lighten the tone or make it a bit heavier than these two. And in addition to that, of course, is, uh, the, is the learning the strumming patterns. So you've got the different strumming patterns. Now, I, I just didn't know anything. I didn't think there was any different strum patterns, to be honest. I just thought I just used to just down, 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 that's it. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's more to it to that. And that's why I learned a lot of my songs is actually going through those strum patterns because each pattern had a yeah, like a set of 10 songs to go through. So I was going through about uh, 30 or 40 songs, I think. Sort of, sort of um, just, just learning strumming. Fantastic. Yeah. I remember you being quite methodical with it, which is really good. I definitely recommend that. Like when we had worked on a new strumming pattern, you'd then choose some specific songs that had, you know, that definitely had that rhythm in to get really comfortable with it. Yeah. Which is, which is great. I think that kind of, structure and approach to building up your sense of rhythm having a variety of rhythms you can you know use um fluidly kind of thing is is really important that's that's great and you're now so we did the django stuff you're now around yellow pick level is that is that right yeah so i'm just starting on yellow pick level now so we started getting into the open chords um so i'm doing chord pattern a at the moment so it's the this the c a and d no, E, oh, e, e, e D and A in it, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Yeah. So just, just getting those. But I, I'm quite familiar with those chords. And, you know, we talked about it before about um, just the A chord. My finger positioning wasn't right. Yeah, that's so it. So for about like 10 years or so, I've been doing the A chord really wrong. Um, and what I've learned with doing it properly with the finger positioning, I find it easy to switch to the D as well. Which I used to find quite difficult. So yeah. it's, it's, if you get that thing, you get your fingers right, you can easy to move along through the other chords. And yeah. I'm sort of picking up that quite quickly, actually. So I'm quite impressed with myself. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. You're doing great. We it was only the other day that we were we were looking at the different yeah. different A's, wasn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Great. And what was the? Do you remember the first song that you learned to play? Um, you know, this this year, sort of over the year. I, so I think. The, the, out of all the songs, the one I remember most is one I because I learned to play through chord properly on Django calls is the um, Magnum Wheel, Darius Rucker. And for me, what, what, why that song is memorable as well is one song I'd never expect myself to be playing because uh, I, I always thought I was like, I like the blues and rock stuff sort of thing. But I'm playing this other stuff. Um, and I find those ones actually more interesting to play uh, as well. Cool. Not, not as um, basic. I think is the word, where sometimes the, the rock rock and blues stuff can be quite, I don't know, same, same, if you like. It's just sort of basic stuff. I know. Um, with, the thing, with a song like Wagon Wheel, there's a lot in terms of the, the sort of feel of it, isn't there, with what you're doing with the strumming and getting yeah. that the vibe where some of the rock is more straight ahead. Yeah. 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 So when I was playing, that, the Wagon Wheel was a good one for me, I, I think. And that's, I enjoyed that one because it, I felt I was actually doing it right. And it felt right and it sounded good. Um, yeah, so it's, um, I think that's one I was brave enough to actually record myself and put on the group. <laughs> so. Yeah, I remember, you, I remember you playing that one. Really, really great. I think you put it together pretty quickly, which is really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole picture. What, what other songs have you learned? Uh, yeah, so when you start, I mean, I talked about I did My Sweet Lord, which I, that's a song I do like listen to, and I'm glad I could play that. Um, that's that's quite a good song to play along to, if anything, just to be able to move move the um, thing up. Oh, the, the key capo, the change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the capo for the key change is the um, getting that right. And um, what I discovered there was don't tie the capo on too tight because to, to do it. Yeah. So it's, you have to do it tight enough just so you get the right sound, but you don't need to go any further. And that's um, that's quite an interesting one. So, yeah, Master Lord. Um, so off the top of my head though, I mean we did the with your lessons as well, we did Green Day, we've done uh Time of Your Life, that was yeah. one. Uh Three Fighters, uh My Hero. That's one that's one of your lessons, that was a good one. Um the Hurt by Johnny Cash, which although it was slightly above my level at the time, 
Um, because I think that you could only go down as far as you couldn't do the white pit level at that time, which I was at. Yeah, there's a bit of bit of finger picking in it, but I went along with that one. Uh, but uh, that is late on in the year, so I was sort of starting to get better at it, I suppose. And that's when I start, started to realize, yeah, I recognize I am improving because I was able to go along with that hurt song when it wasn't really my level, as it were, if you know, mm. it makes sense. Yeah, and um, and I was, I was sort of uh, it's quite. That was a good one to do because um because my wife likes that song as well so it's yeah sort of a, a, a big bonus that one yeah um what so, did you say about your playing oh she likes it yeah yeah she's, she's complimentary yeah yeah but she's also because she, she's got good musical ear as well so she knows when i'm doing it wrong as well so she knows she can pick up and stuff so she's quite good to play against so she, she's honest with it as well nice so it's not, not yeah it's not um, uh, um so, oh god, is it? Um, Fizzy Flamingo. Uh, trying to, uh, what will the sunset kinks? Uh, so it's quite a few sixes ones which I enjoyed. Uh, Cl- Credence Kill Water Revival. Yeah, yeah. Revival. That that was quite a good one for me as a challenge, I think, because I was struggling with that one at first. So that was one that was um, I thought, well, was because I like the song, I wanted to play it. So I've, I've spent more time practicing that song than I did on maybe other songs. Um, there's, uh, well, there's, there's quite a few Beatles songs there, quite uh, quite easy to go through, I think, some of them. <laughs> so, uh, well, it shows it shows your progression if you're finding that stuff. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty, which is yeah. great. Is there what, a kind of thing? Some of that stuff's straightforward, some of it's a you know, bit, bit more going on. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying all of it is easy. <laughs> so, oh, that, yeah, that's great. Just, <laughs> but um, well, but I think what surprised me is again is um, the country songs like uh, uh, oh, so so John Denver. It's a couple of his songs. So one was uh, "Take Me Home, Country Rose." That's it. Yeah, even on jet plane. So their songs, um, again, they're, they're type of songs I never really. I thought, oh, nice songs. I like I like the music. So that's fine. But to actually play them, I actually enjoy playing those songs. So it's quite um, interesting direction I'm going there in the sense that I'm quite to enjoy these country songs, which I would never um, even blink at in, when I was younger. Yeah. I think they're just more enjoyable to play sometimes. It's broad, I, I think. And I, I think it's about the feel of those songs. It's part of the, the charm of them with, with the guitar. Yeah. yeah, really, really nice. Really cool. Do you, um, do you know roughly how many songs you've learned over the year? Yeah, it's funny because I remember when you first spoke to me when I started, and I said, "Oh, I'll probably learn about ten, I suppose," because um, I just didn't have a clue. You said you said probably more close to a hundred sort of number. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's much hundred. I think so. The way I way I escaped down, I think I could say about thirty five songs I've played through um, at a decent level, but more I've played more songs than that, which still need a bit more practice. So I'm mm-hmm. um, sort of. So, yeah, 60, 70 songs maybe, but but I've got to confess, only half of them I'm actually good at. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so there's some that you've learned parts of and stuff and you're perfecting, but you'd say about 35, do you say, pretty much? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think they're the songs that I enjoy playing a lot, so I'll, I'll probably spend more time on them than I, than I should. Because, um, you know, it's sometimes if you don't get a chance to, get to practice properly, I just pick up, pick up one of those songs and play with three, three of those songs again. It's, yeah. it's just a you know, quick, quick 10 minutes when I can grab a chance, just play through a song that I know. So it's um, nice. Yeah. And it's enjoyable as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Well, that's really like 35 songs, I think is, is really, really good. I think like a hundred songs in a year. I can't remember what I said at the time when we sort of set a goal for you, but a hundred is, is the record that anyone's got so far? So, that's probably what I remember, actually. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Uh, I don't think that was the goal, but um, it might. It mentioned that. I won't look it up now, but I think <laughs> 35 like is a is really good. Like, especially yeah. if you're thinking maybe 10 songs over the year. Like, that's you know you've done yeah. great. Cause that, again, because a lot of those songs you bring up from the again are learning from strumming patterns, really, because you've got those about 10 songs on each pattern. So I'll pick about two or three from each pattern style and going through those ones. 
then on top of the Thursday sessions we do, I sort of learned quite a few songs there as well. I mean, uh, Jonathan Prine, John Prine. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm, day is done. Done. Yeah, Day is Done. Now, I did like that one. That was a good one to play, actually. Now, I think that was probably one of the very first ones I learned. Ah, no. Uh, when I first started. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, that, that's, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played that one recently, actually, so I'll have to, I think I have to go back to that one. Yeah, nice one to, to bring back. Oh, fantastic. I think that's yeah. it's a huge achievement. I think you've done tremendous over, over the year. I'm, I'm really impressed. Like, I'm really pleased with the, the progress. Yeah. Absolutely. In, in order to, to get there, you know, 35 songs, people listen to this and they go, oh, he's saying he learned 35 songs in a year. That's, that's crazy. You know, some, you know, what, in order to get there, what does your practice look like? Like how many times are you picking it up, you know, in a day? How long are you picking it up for? So I'll set, I'll set myself um, proper practice targets, uh, say um, maybe about three, four hours a week. Because you, you do your Tuesday sessions. And even though I don't necessarily answer, ask a question all the time, I keep it going, but I'm actually on the guitar at the same time anyway. Yeah. So I'm using that as a thing because it's quite good just to hear you guys talking in the background while I'm practicing along. Mm. And again, some of the songs on the Thursday, you know, again, that's another round of Thursday. Some of the songs uh, I've got no chance of doing because they're sort of way above my level. So again, I'll bring my guitar out anyway and just keep practicing um, whatever I'm practicing time sort of thing. And then over the weekends, to try and get a couple of hours at the weekend. And in between now, um, like I say, um, it's where I can get a chance. So obviously um, with the job, it's quite difficult to sort of just spend more than uh, spend an hour every day so in between that's why i grab the guitar when i can that 10 minutes here 10 minutes at another time usually in the evenings um although sometimes if i'm working from home like today i can just uh that's my lunch i can just spend an hour at lunchtime going through the guitar right so, so i do try to keep it structured in the sense of choosing like, thursday definitely and definitely a couple of hours a the weekend then other times just filling when i can Okay, excellent. Would you so would you say it's sort of a, a maximum of about an hour a day? Um, sometimes less, or do you know? Yeah, so. yeah. yeah I, I like to work for um, up to an hour. I try not to do less than an hour. Um, now sometimes it can't be helped, but I have I have played more than an hour before. I've gone I've gone into two hours if I'm getting into really into it sort of thing, or. Yeah. Get, maybe getting frustrated so I go so I've got to keep going until I get it right so uh, uh, one of the things to the, the base uh, the cash base cash base yeah yeah, yeah that, that took a long time to work out that one so I just that one I had to persevere quite a bit um, but yeah but yeah. then it started oh, well, it's like everything else just comes naturally and didn't it yeah absolutely I think with the time that you spent working on that. I think it really shows in your playing overall. I think you're really, it's really improved the accuracy of your strumming and which strings you're striking within any given chord. Like, I think it's sharpened up what you're doing. I think it was definitely a worthwhile, a really worthwhile thing to do beyond just that rhythm. But it means you can do the country kind of stuff that uses that as well, you know, the Johnny Cash, John Denver and what have you. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Really, really good. So there we go. That's a that's that's really good. Um, you know, with a busy kind of work life that you're finding, you know, windows of time, and then on some of the, some of the days you're finding a bigger chunk as well that you're consistently pushing forward with it. Like that's fantastic. Um, yeah, excellent. Well, as a, as a sort of final thing, what um, what advice would you give? To somebody who was in the situation that you were sort of a year ago like want, wants to get their playing to the next level wants to put it together and get playing songs and things what, what would you say to them i think uh, um what i was doing i said because i was looking through different methods or different people like looking at how they're it's just like just read through what they're saying and what uh, going back to what I was saying about when I caught your when I saw your advert, you know, you were on Facebook sort of thing. There seemed to be there's something in there that was extra. So um, I, I can't say to people, oh, just choose Ian, he's great. <laughs> but just just re, just compare, just compare the different people offering these your services, and you will see 
person as well. So the, there was a difference in how you're selling your service in the sense that there was something more, um, I don't know, just more involved, more personal, I think. And also, um, what, what, what won it for me, to be honest, perfectly honest, was the, the Django calls that you were offering. Because um, try to learn from start with open calls and it can be difficult, I think. Because I have I had had tried to do um, people in the past to try and teach a guitar mm-hmm. and they're just too complex and too, te- too far too technical, I think. Where I've Jam calls is great because you know because you're learning to move your fingers, but you only need to move two fingers at a time. And from there, when you start to learn your smoothness, so uh, to me, that's what won won it for me. I think um, so. Not great advice, really. <laughs> <It's> just, <it's>, um, <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. I think what I'm getting from that is the as as well as what you're saying is the the, the structure. Yes. Yeah. Sort of the, the route through what you're learning. Um, yeah. yeah. Again, sort of try not to sell the course too much, but that's what caught my eye as well. The fact that you, you had this, this structured approach about you know going for the different colours, and um, that was actually quite significant as well. So you know what to expect from that level, and then not you're, you're from your perspective, you're not expecting too much from me either. So this is what you need. This is all we need to do. And, but within those instructions, it's again, it's not just chords, it's the fact that how to, how to hold a guitar even, or you know, and stretches and you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. And make sure I've got the right size pick. <laughs> so it's always, it's always little things yeah. mm. that other people don't tell you. They just, especially pick up a guitar and just, just, just copy what they're doing. Um, but not really. Easier said than done. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> pick up. Yeah, fair enough. Well, thanks for, for that, Brendan. That's really that's really great. And I think it's really helpful for, for, for people to hear who are, you know, wondering whether they can learn to play the guitar themselves. And you know, maybe they've tried, like like yourself, had some lessons, tried different apps and stuff. And, and it's not there yet. It's not come together yet. So mm-hmm. thank you. I really I think it's really valuable to hear your, your perspective. And, and well done. Like you're doing, you're doing fantastic. You're playing. I'm really looking forward to where we're going over over the next year as well and continuing yeah. the journey as well. So yeah, fantastic. Cool. Love Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks. See you there.